So we're at Sky Vapor and we caught up with Matt Bradley. Matt Bradley, thank you so much for taking the time out with You're us. You're welcome. Thanks for coming out here, guys. And for those of you who recognize Matt, it may be from his uh, liquids and juices and his short Sky Vapor, but he's more well known as a crew member of the Northwestern on the uh, Discovery Channel's Deadliest Catch. So I've been fishing for about 23 years now. Um, started at a pretty young age. Um, and I wanted to get out of it, and that's how we kind of created this, is, you know, I thought for sure that I, I knew I needed to do something different in my life. Um, and once I started using the vape products, it was like, maybe I could turn a dollar at this too and help some people along the way. Um, I teamed up with a really good friend of mine, and we kind of created Sky Vapor from there. How many cigarettes, how much tobacco use did you have on the ship? You know, in a, in a typical Apelio crab season or a king crab, in the season it would run three months long, we would pick up 30 cartons per crew member in January. And then about March, you'd pick up another 30 cartons. That's 60 cartons of cigarettes, you know. Um, for one person. For one person. You know, when you, when you smoke it, at home, you're like, oh, I've only got a couple of cigarettes left. I'll save those for morning. Well, it never happens when you're on the boat. You have an ample supply of cigarettes, so you just smoke and smoke and smoke and smoke and smoke. I mean, it's amazing how many cigarettes we smoked. Um, my wife, my kids were um, tired of me smoking, the way I smelled. Um, my wife says I wheezed a lot when I slept, um, profusively coughing, the typical cigarette smoker's cough. And my wife bought me a, a basic ego pin. Um, I played with it a little bit. I was like, this thing's ridiculous. Um, and I, you know, like for a health conscious reason, I was starting to feel it myself. And the way everyone in the family was talking about how much I was smoking, um, I knew I needed to change. And I was kept, kept trying with, the, with the, the small vape pen I had. And there was a point where I got sponsored by a, a, a liquid manufacturing company out of, out of the UK. Um, they sent me probably 10 pens, a bunch of Cardo tanks, um, and about 50 bottles of juice. And I was like, well, now I got some decent liquids, some decent devices, and I had enough to where there was really no excuse to not to keep smoking at that point. <clears throat> After I had started posting on the social media, thank you for helping me quit smoking. You know, I'm down from three packs a day down to one pack a day. I had just, all I had done was no harm reduction. I just lessened my daily intake. Um, uh, I got a phone call from Ohio asking me to come out to a grand opening of a vapor store. And I was like, they have stores? <laughs> <laughs> There's stores? Like all I've seen is these 10 things online. There's an, actually you have a, a vapor store. And I went out to Ohio and I was just like, I watched in amazement. There was uh, the gentleman uh, owned about six stores already. And I just was like, wow, I don't know what I'm gonna do, but I'm gonna write you a check for 10 grand. And send me $10,000 worth of e-cigarette products. I don't know what I need or want, but send it to me. And by the time I got home, four or five days later, I was hustling this stuff out of the back of my truck. I had tubs of 18 milligram, 24 milligram nicotine, and there was strawberry, banana, five different tobaccos, a bunch of menthols. They were just in tubs, all mixed together, but the nicotine strengths were all the same. Pick whatever you want, a couple bucks a bottle, I'm just having fun. And then my wife was like, you have lost your mind. There's way too much of this stuff in the house. There's, there's leaky juice over here, and there's bottles over here, and People are coming over tonight and you've got the kitchen table stacked with vapor products. And I was like, yeah, well, I guess I'll go put it out in the truck until everybody leaves. And then we found a retail location and it just kind of blossomed from there. And so now you have two stores. You have one in Everett and one in Arlington Yeah, here. we have two, two. We're in the Arlington location right now. We have another one in Everett, Washington, and then we have our distribution center as well. So. And, and you no longer smoke. And I haven't had a cigarette in two and a half years. Awesome. Yeah. Two and a half years off of cigarettes. And you know, like the, the benefits that I saw immediately, I love scuba diving. It's one of my uh, greatest outlets of my life. I get more bottom time. We used to just send two, three guys at the same time and I'd be like, I'm done. And they're like, okay, bye. I'd have to surface 
10, 12, 15 minutes ahead of everybody else, you know. They called me the air hog, because everywhere I was at, I was like, <laughs> gone. My air would be gone, and here they are in this perfect zen, you know. So I get a lot more bottom time now. That's like, like the, have a good day, brother. That's like my immediate, like, I can look back where I was at from smoking to where I'm at today, and that is like probably the best health benefit I have out of it. And I, you find that you're still able to use the vapor products on the boats? Yeah, we vape on the boat. It's um, sometimes a little bit more trying, trying to build a coil when the boat's going like this. Not so much fun. Um, thank goodness we have a lot of amazing tank devices out today. So you just change out a coil, you can do that. Um, I vape with my gloves on. Um, I've managed to try to place vapor products to maybe help the other guys. And I catch them. You know, they're like, oh. oh. Why, bro? It's there. You have the whole thing if you just quit smoking, please. No. So let's talk about that a little bit. Uh, fans of the show will know that not only are there an immense amount of use of tobacco products, but the, the detrimental effects of tobacco products have certainly played a significant role in some of the themes of some of the seasons, whether it be the loss of Phil Harris or even this last year, uh, your own captain, uh, Sig Hansen, has, has seen some significant... Uh, medical issues and largely related to his use of, of cigarettes. So what has been the uh, response to your crewmates and other captains as they see you and the success, success you've had with these? As they, has, do you see these guys trying to transition more and making a more I do. Effort? Like, I mean, Sig's tried to vape. Uh, Sig's tried to vape in a couple of different times. You know, he was filming a TV show in, in New York and he showed up at, at our Everett location hours after closing we were doing inventory and I gave him tons of vapor products you know and and he was calling me back from New York like hey 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 this thing doesn't work I'm like Sig it's like four o'clock in the morning Seattle time like I, I don't know what to tell you have you pressed the button three times oh wow it's blinking hey it works <laughs> Good night, Cap. I how love many, you. How many customers have we done that yeah. with? No kidding. I can count them on like four hands. Yeah. So he, can, he can run a multi-million dollar crabbing yeah. operation, oh, but know. operating a device can... A small <laughs> e-sig, not happening. Locking. So, uh, so, but you know, like, like uh, with seeing Phil Harris, I mean, it was like a super big eye opener for a lot of us. Um, a lot of Dorian fans from the TV show, and then watching Sig. I wasn't on the boat for this last incident. They had the fire, put a lot of stress on Sig. I mean, they could have lost, potentially lost the boat. Massive heart attack due to stress, um, and definitely cigarette smoking, a leading cause to why that could have been there, and just not wanting to change. You know, like I don't know where he's at today, where Sig's at today, if he's smoking or if he's not. I know here in a couple of weeks I'll be back on the boat and I'll, we'll definitely see what he's doing. You see, you see some of these old timers and you think we're immortal. Like, man, the, the sea hasn't swallowed us up. We've skated over death a hundred times and then you look back to all the cigarette smoking and it's like, you can only cheat death for so long. Why wouldn't you want to make a healthier quality of life, right. you know? And that's where I'm at today. I want a healthier quality of life. and. And the cigarette smoking definitely wasn't giving it to me. You know, and in in when I was younger, I felt immortal, bulletproof, if you will. Smoke, drink, whatever. I'm the, you know, nobody lives forever. No, I want to be around for my kids. I want to be around for my grandkids. I want to reap some of the benefits of life. And I don't want to be towing an oxygen mask around with myself, you know. And I, I can really say that's probably where I was heading. 